Testing the Puracy Natural Laundry Stain Remover. Hello Clean Freaks and Germaphobes, it's test time and today I'm testing an all natural stain remover to see how well it does on laundry stains around the house. It's called Puracy Natural Stain Remover and it's an enzyme cleaner with six based enzymes. I don't know if you've heard about enzymes, but they're proven to be the safest, most effective ingredients to remove and eliminate stains and odors. As you can see, this is almost totally clear. It has kind of a yellow tint to it, but no dyes. And I like that because I've had some laundry detergents that have blue dye in it and it's stained things that I washed. It's also kind of a fun thing that they have this original artwork on their spray bottles and it helps benefit local. Now they say that it's gonna safely remove stains from your clothes, carpet, cloth diapers, and more. So I wanted to test the Puracy stain remover on a couple of things. I tried it on some really stubborn stains that I've had around the house, but the true test is, does it work? All right, there is the comforter from Purple Mattress. And I don't know how this happened. It's not dramatic, but I mean, this is brand new. And I wanna make sure that it gets out this dirt. See this dirt right here? Can it make this totally white again? Any dirt? Okay, cause this is like pure white. I want it to stay pure white. And then I'm just gonna scrub that. And even though this is a fresh stain that I've not washed, I'm really paranoid about it. So I'm going to leave it on for the full eight hours instead of the 15 minutes, just to make sure this comes out. I don't want to use bleach that eats away at the fabric. And I just want to see if I can do it as natural as possible. So if you want to check out my other channel, it's called Unbox Mattress and I try and help you find the best bedding and mattresses for you. I'll put a link to that if you wanna check it out and I'd love it if you subscribe there too. Ooh, actually there is where the dirt was and it's gonna need, ooh, I wish I would've caught that sooner, but it actually needs another wash. Hey guys, I just got this out of the washing machine for the second time and I put a pin where the stain was and I don't know I can't see a thing now it's really perfect it's white now I did add oxyclean to this one I don't know if that made a difference just in total honesty but I am really happy because no dirt at all I washed this pillowcase just so you can see the whole thing. I washed it in my regular cycle with my regular detergent. And this looks like blood now, but it's actually mascara. I didn't take my mascara off before I went to bed. And this was black and now it's faded to brown. This is it, Blue Dawn. Someone said that Blue Dawn would work. So let's see, I'm putting a lot more than I should on it. But now one more try. I'm so excited to see if this finally works, but I am watching the last minutes of the washing machine. Still didn't work, so I don't know if it's better or not, but there we go. If you know how to get mascara off of cotton, then let me know, because now I have a challenge. And we lost sound here, so I'm just gonna talk you through this. This is a stained shirt with lots of dirt on it. And um, we're gonna spray it down with some Puracy and then see if we can get that out. Next, we have these pants. They have a lot of grass and dirt. Kitchen towels. Last of all, I have a green pillowcase. This has hair products on it. And then I got this athletic shirt. Sweat marks and different stains on it. Uh, 
results from using the Puracy on these items of clothing. So this had a big stain on it. You can see it is gone. So yay. This towel, it's hard to see, but there's still a little bit of staining. It did lighten it. I don't know that it'll ever come out completely, but I'm going to try laundry stripping and see if it can get the rest of this out. But it did lighten it considerably. This shirt looks really good. You can't tell in the camera, but there's a tiny bit of dirt right here that I that didn't come out, so it'll be laundry stripped. This one can't really see any more of the sweat markings on here. So Piercy works for that. The stain on this one is gone. And there was a oil stain on this one like right in here. And I think it's gone. I don't see it. So woohoo, Piercy worked. And then school pants. This marker stain did not come out, but it looks like everything else did. So Puracy works pretty well. I'm pretty happy with the results. This is my love sack cover and it has some kind of grease mark on it. So here we go. Luckily these things come off and you can unzip them and put them in the wash. I've had this love sack for over a decade and we love it. It's like the cuddle place, the place where we can eat because you know, stains come off and it's our relaxation. This is the original cover too. So got my scrubby gloves. I'm gonna get that a good scrub and then let it sit for at least eight hours. And then I'm gonna wash it in my washing machine and see if that comes out. And I'm gonna mark it so I know exactly where it is. Okay, I got the glove sack cover out of the washing machine. I have a pin here where it used to have the stain. And as you can see, there's no stain at all. It's gone. Yay. Win. Another really hard one. I don't know if you can see this, but there is a grease mark right there. I don't know about you. I hate it. I probably like dropped something greasy that I was eating on this shirt and it's ruined. So I'll throw it away if it doesn't work. Just gonna spray this on. I'm gonna agitate it. Rub it. Okay guys, this is my favorite result of all because I thought I was gonna have to get rid of this shirt completely. It doesn't have any grease stains at all. And wow, I mean, there was a nice big grease spot here. And it's gone, yay! Puracy is naturally derived, hypoallergenic, non-toxic, vegan, gluten-free, and biodegradable. It doesn't have any phosphates, no chlorine, bleach, dyes, petrochemicals, caustics, or optical brighteners. And I like that it's biodegradable and it's good for the environment, gray water, and septic systems. Wanted to see if plant-based enzymes and natural minerals can clean as well as the harsh petroleum-based chemicals do. They also say to test for color fastness in inconspicuous areas first. I didn't have any inconspicuous areas to test on so I just had to do it right on the fabric and I was really worried about the purple and if that would bleach it out at all and I'm really happy to report that it didn't so those are the results you guys what do you think leave a comment with any questions have you tried Puracy I think it's great I'll put a link to it in the video description if you want to check it out just do not leave it on silk or wool for more than an hour it can be hard on those fabrics but overall, I'm so pleased to find a natural enzyme cleaner that works as well as Puracy does. I really love to test products out and see how they work and what they work best on. So in another video, I tested oven cleaners and tried to find out which one would work the best. I really wanted something natural. That is my first preference, but I'll use whatever works the best. And so I'll put a link to that video so you can see the best way to clean your oven too.